Hello my players, I'm Professor Hoon and welcome to something a little bit different. Now, I've been wanting to get into competitive Pokemon battling for quite some time. Quite hard, because I don't have a lot of time. However, the amazing thing about this game is you can rent teams. So, I've rented a team from the winner of the Taihan VSG competition in December 2022. If you're coming here expecting someone to break down the amazing strategy with this team, that ain't me, okay? <laughs> Listen, I am crap. I'm crap at competitive Pokemon. I want to get better at it, hence why I'm doing this. Um, so I'm going to rent this team, and I'm going to just see if I can climb the ladder and see what happens. So without any further ado, let's jump into our first battle. Okay, we're jumping into the first battle, looking at my opponent's I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Honestly, I do not know what I'm doing. Right, okay. I'm going to start with what I, what I little, what little I know about this team. I'm going to start with you because I know that you'll be able to, to just settle the tailwind to increase the speed. Um, We're going to go with, who am I going to go for? Looking at his or her team. That's all a good one to have. You don't really have many weaknesses, I don't think. Probably a good one to have. What have you, what have you got? Can I check the summary on this mon? Um, flower trick, knock off, protect, and trick room. Knock off would help against one mon. Um, I think you're gonna be a lot of help here. Um. I don't know what I'm doing, and you can probably tell. Expanding force, armor cannon. I think, like, looking at the team, I don't think he goes for the... Well, he probably does go for the Breloom because of the fighting type. But I know Star Raptor has fighting type moves as well. We're out of time. I'm going for you with the choice specs. And then I'm going to go with... You'll be able to help settle. You're probably the safe bet. Let's go with this. Let's go with this team. Let's go with this team and see how we get on here we go straight into it if you haven't already please do consider leaving a like it always does help and leave a comment leave a comment just tell me how bad i am at Pokemon. at least i've got a good profile picture you haven't got a good profile picture okay here we go who are you starting with noivern and breloom both of them shinies makes no difference whatsoever in a competitive format now what am i expecting here. Now, you, that's no shock. You'll know that I've got the evil eye and the, the wide lens. These do not make a difference whatsoever. Now, taunt. Now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for the tailwind. Now, I'm expecting a fighting type move here. So, I kind of think that straight off the bat, I terrestrialize. Now, I become a ghost type, which means I'm immune to some of those moves. So, I think I have to do that and then probably take out... I think the Noivern is the bigger threat probably a bigger threat out of the two so let's start off we terrestrialize the ghost typing makes us immune to both fighting and normal type moves Breloom is part fighting okay probably expecting a close combat or a mac punch or something like that into this pokemon so let's play it safe there's the tailwind we are now we are now probably going to be fast so there's the population bomb now i don't know a lot about population bomb other than if it misses once, it stops. Oh, very good. Okay, I might not do enough damage now. Come on, come on. Connect a few more times. I don't... Even if it connects, connects to the maximum amount, I don't think it's knocking out the Noivern. One more. Oh, we get it. We get the knockout on turn one. That is absolutely fantastic. Now, please. Nine times. Is ten the maximum, I believe? There's the Focus Blast. Does nothing because I'm now a Ghost-type Pokemon. That is absolutely fantastic. Perfect turn one. Absolutely perfect turn one. Uh, apparently, I'm quite good at this. <laughs> I'm not. Right. There's the Star Raptor. Now. Dropping the attack. Very good. Very good. Now. I knew the Star Raptor was going to, to turn up here. Now, what have I got? Mmm... So, the target's turning that it only allows it to use attack moves for three turns. Oh, what are you... Could I swap? I could potentially swap here. How long have I got? Now, I'm not that fussed about this Pokemon going down. I kind of feel like I'll go with the taunt, you know, on the Breloom. 
expecting something like Leech Seed or something like that. You know, you know what? You know what? How long have I got? I've got 10. I'm going to... Yeah, I am going to taunt on the U. And I'm going to Population Bomb on the Star Raptor. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. So we've gone for the taunt. That might be a wasted move. I did originally say the Breloom. I panicked because of the amount of time. I'm outspeeding everything right now. Four, five, six, seven. One more. Got the KO. Got the KO. Wow, we are off to a fantastic start right now. To be fair, though, I am. This is my first ever ranked battle. I'm playing against people that are terrible. I avoided the Focus Blast. Wait, which one of my mons avoided the Focus Blast? Oh. Kukwavel. Kukwavel? Kukwavel? Sexiest Pokemon ever. Uh, now, looking at my team. I'm going to... I am actually going to taunt that mon. Because I'm thinking and, and kind of hoping it tries to go for Leech Seed or something like that. The fact that it's just trying to stall out with Focus Blast is a little bit... Strange. Is this... I, I'm half thinking the play is already thrown in the towel, which, you know what? I have assembled the best Pokemon team ever that I've rented. Um, uh, it's got a Quick Claw. Nice. Terrestrializing. Interesting. Okay, so not giving up the... You know, not giving up the fight just yet. Oh, you terrestrialized the Quavel. That's okay. I wasn't targeting into that, was I? I don't think. I can't remember. It's been so long for them to choose their move so we've gone for the taunt now i'm kind of hoping that he tries to set up with a move okay so there's the focus blast again again like why are you still trying to use focus blast am i playing against a child or someone that doesn't know how to play pokemon a little bit concerning fine whatever we'll take the win we'll take the early wins okay oh this this population bomb is just wrecking shop right now absolutely just destroying i have four mons left i've taken zero damage and all this trainer has yet is the kukwavel now that's gonna hit doesn't knock me out though doesn't knock me out speed rose interesting um now what i could do here okay let's eliminate the stat changes and then i am hoping Am I still quicker? Still quicker. So that should reset the speed of the Kukwavel. And then I should go first with Population Bomb. There we go. Perfect. Perf that was a crit. Okay. Even better. Come on. Keep going. Almost there. One more. Done. Dusted. Near perfect game. You cannot. You could not have wished for anything better. I would say GG. But honestly, I want to say easy. Because that, that was... That was... I was actually kind of disappointing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. Right, we're into the second battle against Luna. Look at that team. A very diverse team right there. Now, while I could start with the Tailwind, I think I'm probably outspeeding three, if not four of those Mons. Do I really need to start with that? I mean... I kind of think, let, should we try a different strategy? Because Indeedee over here has follow me, which means that it will take all the damage. So maybe I start with that. What do we think? That and... Mm, I mean, setting up that Tailwind did help. And it helps me to get the speed. Like, why broke what isn't fixed? Wait, what? Why broke what isn't fixed? Why fixed what isn't broken? We've got these two mons. We're going to start with that. Now, looking at this team, you're not really going to help me. I don't think in this battle. I can't think. Throw you. Again, I don't think you're going to... Mm, although, actually, you... What moves have you got? 24 seconds left. Need to be quick. You've got the knockoff. So, you are super effective against two of those mons. Three of those ones, actually? Yeah, okay. Let, let, let's... The strategy worked last time. Let's not break it, okay? I still don't know what I'm talking about. I still don't know if I'm any good. But I'm, I'm liking this combination of just being able to go for the speed and then go on the offensive with Population Bomb. I've just realized I've got the wide lens, which I think means that it's 100% accurate, right? Or close to 100% accurate. Okay, here we go. Now, 
this is going to be very interesting because suddenly, actually, Population Bomb is no longer... It's not very... It's not very effective against either of them. So I kind of feel like... What have we got here? Hmm... Let's... I kind of feel like I need to swap here. I need to swap. But who do I swap into? I kind of feel like this is what I do. There we go. Let, let's swap. So we'll set up the tail of wind. We'll swap. And then hopefully I can do something against these mons. Now I'm probably... What do we think? Do we think... May your phones have come. Do we think a fake out is about to come in? I feel like a fake out. So there's the tailwind. Now I have used... Tinkerton, Tinkerton, I always forget what, what name it is. I always forget. However, what I do know, okay, goes for the substitutes. Interesting. Um, I know it has fake out, but obviously can't use that now because it's it's used its first turn with the play rule. Okay, so this mon is obviously a stall out mon, which is absolutely fine. So what we're going to do. So what I'm probably expecting here is another play rule. Now, the problem is I can't get a safe swap in. So I think I need to just stay in and potentially lose this mon. I am fast. So I think what I probably need to do is taunt on the, the Garganical. And then we'll go for... What does, what does Trick Room do? I always forget. Uh, which slow poke get to move. I don't want that. Uh, super effective on you. Knock off. Not very effective. Now, the problem... Um, I need to I need to break the sub. I need to break the sub. Let Right. Okay, I didn't expect the protect, but that makes sense. So we can go for the taunt. So I'm kinda hoping. I, I've fought against Garganical before. And I know that it is a very tanky stall out mon. I don't think it will have a lot of moves to attack. And therefore, if I can get the taunt up, it might stop it from doing whatever it needs to do. That'll stop also stop it from using substitutes. So there's the rock slide. Okay. So we've lost. We've lost our Mirko. Absolutely fine. We now get the safe swap in, which is exactly what I wanted. So what I'm thinking this turn is I'm going to do this. We're going to bring in this Pokemon. And I think we're going to Terrestrialize. Because I'm expecting a play rough into that Pokemon from my opponent, Tinkerton. Or is that too obvious? Is that possibly too obvious? Um, we're going to terrestrialize, and we're going to go for the heat wave on both of them. And I'm going to use flower trick on the garganical. Let's see what happens. I am fast. Are they about to terrestrialize, or are they still thinking? It says it's communicating. I think they are still choosing what moves to learn. I might have just gone in for the most obvious play here, and they could double swap, perhaps. Okay, there's the terrestrialization from us. So, I'm now a steel type, which is fantastic because if my opponent decides to go for the play rough, it's not going to be very effective. Come on, come on. There's the flower trick. Now, it will be a crit, but I don't think it'll be enough to knock it out because it's so defensively bulky. However, we have got the heat wave. We have got the speed on our... Oh, it's not strong enough to knock out either of their mons, which means I'm about to get the play rough. Which misses. Wow, so terrestrializing actually did not make a difference there. Now, am I expecting the double protect potentially here? So, I'm pretty sure I have choice specs, right? Which means uh, only allows the use of a single move. So I'm just going to go straight for the heat wave again. And I think I might... Do I protect here just in case they have a... Do they do they go on the offensive here? I still outspeed. So I don't think they do. However, just in case they have a move that allows them to prioritize and the potential to try and knock out one of my mons, that's fine. So there's the heat wave. I think that is enough to knock them both out. It is. So the protect was wasted move anyway, but that's absolutely fine. There's nothing... I, I don't think I've got a move that would, like, help me to set up or anything. I, I know I have the trick room, but I've got the tailwind up, so I don't really want to be using that. 
Okay, there's... Oh, I should have used it. That would have been the perfect opportunity to use it. That is disappointing. Oh, well. Right, okay. So, we have three Mons left. They have two. Who is going to win this? Sent out Gyarados, the Paldean champion. And Armor Rouge, the Paldean champion as well. Now... Intimidate is massive here. Now, I need to swap. I, I have to swap here. Um, and then in terms of what I've got, I mean, I've got the knockoff. Mm. Let's go for the knockoff on the Armor Rouge and hope, hope I'm still faster. However, without the Tailwind, this is anyone's guess. I don't know if I'm, I'm faster or not. I don't know the EVs and IVs of these Pokemon. I imagine... The... I always get them too. No, don't tell me. I get the IVs confused. The EVs. One is what the Pokemon naturally has. And the other ones are what you can gift them by knocking out wild Pokemon. I should know this. I've done challenge videos. You should check out the challenge videos after you've watched it. This, this, this. Actually, I'm about to tell you that now, right? The best thing you can do to support me as a content creator and to get 1,000 subscribers. Don't, don't leave a like. Go and watch another one of my videos after this one, please. It would really help. The Wide Guard. So that's priority moves, right? There's the knockoff. I always forget. Wide Guard is either priority moves or moves that basically hit everyone. Okay. Fantastic. Now. I can bring out this mon again and the great thing is it's no longer locked in with choice spec so i can choose what move to use there's no point using heat wave heat wave isn't going to do a lot against any of these mons so i've kind of actually you know what you know what i think i go for follow me do i go for follow me and then i go for dark pulse Or do I go for the Draco Meteor? Nah, I go for the Dark Pulse here. I think I do. I think I do this. Because they're probably going to target... The Armor Rouge is going to target into the one Pokemon that is a fire weakness. By using Follow Me, hopefully they... Hopefully it targets... It'll switch the target. This Oh, there's the Terrestrialization. What typing it? Okay, so the Gyarados Terrestrializes. So that, I don't think, makes a huge difference this turn however it's now got stab and it's now got the terrestrialization attack boost it's going to hit for a lot of damage so you, you became the center of attention there's the dark pulse is that enough that's enough to knock out that mon fantastic this to be fair i need my is it mouse hold i think it's called to survive i don't know if that's going to happen doesn't affect you Okay, it's not enough. Why would you go for that? Now, I can go for the Population Bomb. And we can go for the Dark Pulse. And I've just got to hope the combination of two attacks here is enough to knock out this Gyarados. Strain. I don't know why he went for Earthquake. Like, strange, strange strategy. Why Terrestrialize? I don't think either of these mons can learn Electric-type attacks. Although, actually, no, no, no. Hydreigon, I think, can. Right, we get our second win of the day we're all off, already off to a fantastic start however i am climbing from the very bottom of the ladder meaning that i'm probably fighting people who these are their teams these are the teams that they have built and maybe they, they haven't had a chance to experiment and explore options with their team so i don't want to get carried away myself and i am using a rental team from someone who has won a tournament so let's not get carried away with ourselves onwards to the third battle oh okay like i'm kind of expecting <sighs> honchcrow wait what have i been saying Murkrow. no Murkrow. Me Mir i have been saying it right i think i'm expecting this honchcrow to come in first because because it's going to you mm, it's going to use tailwind so i kind of have to use tailwind on my mon to counter it i think uh in terms of Mm, what have you got? Flash Cannon, Draco Meteor. Would do a lot of damage against two of their mons. So 
So get you in as well. Oh, I'm gonna... Mm, yeah, I'm gonna get you in expecting a fighting type move. Um, You actually, I don't think... I don't think I bring you. But then I don't think... I, I kind of feel like... Do we give Indeedee? -de? Indeedee? -de? Indeedee? -de? I don't know. It's time to shine. I mean, so I've got Dazzling Glean, Helping Hand, Follow Me. Yeah, I give you... I'm going, I'm going with this team. I'm switching it up a little bit. The fact that... Got a couple of mons. Week to... Fairy? I think it said... I think it said it had a fairy type move, not a psychic type move. Don't tell me I'm full of this up. <laughs> By the way, I've, I've reached rank two of beginner class. Like, round of applause, Harry. Right, round, of, round of applause? What's going on with me? Round of applause. I don't know what's going on with me. Also, banging tune. Like, if you don't agree, then I... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Now... I know exactly what I'm doing here. I'm going with the Tailwind. And I'm actually going to Terrestrialize and then use Draco Meteor on the High Dragon. I think that is the play. Because only stupid people Terrestrialize on turn one, okay? Only stupid people like me, okay? And my, what I've noticed playing and watching other people is that typically people prefer to wait to Terrestrialize to get a feel for what 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 the battle is is running like and what their opponents have. So I'm hoping by terrestrializing on turn one, they try to hit Hydreigon with a dragon type move and a steel type. It's not very effective, I think. Um so then I can counter with the Draco Meteor and then swap out. Let's find out. Whoa! A fellow stupid person! Yes! Okay, what are you doing? Oh, we're both... We're both steel type of... Oh, wait. You're electric. That's an interesting strategy. Interesting. Okay, so we set the Tailwind. Hopefully my Hydreigon is faster. Now, no longer super effective. However, it is stabbing a very powerful move. It's not enough to do the job, unfortunately. But that's okay. Gone for a dragon dance. Wow. Speeds up as well. Am I still faster? Heat wave. No. <laughs> okay, we survive. We barely survive. Okay, that's okay. So what I'm going to do here. Okay, that's not that bad, actually. Game burned. Whatever, fine. I don't think it makes an overall change to my strategy here. Now, I could actually go for the haze, you know? Or I could go for the foul play. You know what I think? I think I actually haze here, knowing that I'm actually quicker. I think this is what I do. Am I still faster? Let's find out. Hopefully I am. I am. There we are. So your move was wasted. You're no longer faster. You no longer have increased attack, which means that I can finish off with a Draco Meteor. Fantastic. Now, the problem is my Hydreigon is down for an attack in special attack. There's the there's the next heat wave. Who avoided the attack? Whoa, you avoided the attack. Interesting. Okay. Um This actually isn't helping me. I want to lose one of these mons so I can swap. And I can't. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now I'm expecting to go down the next tier. Oh, this is this is perfect. This is actually perfect for me right now. Uh, because what I can do... Am I expecting the Medicham to set up here? The fact that you tried to set up with your previous Mon, I think they were about to try and set up again. Which means I should probably go for the Taunt. But then do I just try and get some damage off? No, let's go for the Taunt. Now, Draco Meteor, unfortunately, isn't going to do a lot of damage against either of them. But I am actually going to target into the Honchgrove this turn. I'm going to target into the Honchgrove. Fake out! Okay, interesting. That's infuriating. But that's okay, that's okay. Now. There's the Heat Wave. Knocks out both of my Mons. Okay, so... They still have three mons. I only have two. And I think the Tailwind is about to peter out this turn. 
Not great, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's send in these two mons. Place it on the left. Place it on the right. Okay. Now, if I can encore the Medicham into Fake Out, that's a fantastic strategy. So what I'm going to do here... Okay. The battlefield got weird. I couldn't tell you what the surges do. I really have no idea. What does that boost? What have I just boosted? My special defense. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do, dazzlingly, I'm just going to go on the offensive here. And then what I'm going to do, um, just in case the Medicham survives, I'm going to encore it and lock it into fake out. Or am I expecting the swap here? Now, I can't terrestrialize the mouse, mouse hold, unfortunately. Oh, got the protect up. Very nice. Very nice strategy there. Probably expecting. And we can, but we can get the encore in, which means that it's locked into fake out. Fake out only works on the first turn. The Pokemon is sent into the battle, which is fine. That helps me here because it means I'm going to take no damage this turn. Super effective. Very nice. There's the fake out again. Okay. So, Tailwind petered out. That is infuriating. I need to take down this Medicham. So what do I go for the follow me? Although, is it going to try and hit with us? Mm, I think because of the speed difference here, and I uh, because the Tailwind's petered out, and I don't know who's faster, I'm going to go follow me. And then I'm going to go with Population Bomb on the Medicham. Let's try and get rid of the Medicham, the Medicham here. Oh, okay. Oh, that actually, that is fantastic. So, I should have expected the swap, thinking about it, because it's locked into Fake Out. You're not going to keep that Pokemon in. However, I'm kind of hoping that I can knock this Pokemon out with... Four, five, six... Not enough. Not enough, unfortunately. That's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. Okay. Ooh, it's a... Three on one. <laughs> I think this is GG. I'm still going to play it through to the very end. Um, now, I could actually go with a Protect here and just try and stall out. I don't think it's going to help me, though. I think what I need to do... Go for, go for the Hatterini. Try and finish it off. Uh, and then maybe I can finish off the Medicham. I don't know. Um, because I'm probably... What I'm probably expecting here is a Protect from the Hunchcrow again. Yes. Okay, there we go. There's the Protect. If I'm faster, which we are, okay, so it's a two on one. This isn't over, but I'm going to need some serious luck here. Now, I'm expecting the fake out. Like, surely they use fake out here because then it resets their protect, which means they can protect the following turn. So I think the correct play to do here is protect, which means we were right not to use it the following turn. So... Come on, please, 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 please. I want the Honchkrow to attack, the Medicham to use Fake Out, Protect, deals zero damage from either of them. Come on, come on. You know you want to. Come on. Protected itself. Fantastic. Axe Kick. Interesting. Am I faster? That's going to be the deciding. Whoa! Kept going and crashed. That's fantastic. But the problem is, the problem is here, do I do I risk the double protect? Or do I try to take out... I kind of feel like... I have to try and take down the Medicham. I have to. We do! Oh, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. He's brought it back. This isn't over yet, though, folks. This isn't over yet. Do you know what could happen, though? Which would be fantastic. Is we lock... Both of us keep using protect... This is like one, then the other, then the other, then the other. Now, I'm probably expecting to protect from this Pokemon this turn. Hold on. Do I Encore? Do I Encore? This is the worst possible thing. I could protect and stall out. I could use Population Bomb and just go on the offensive. I could Encore predicting the protect. Because let's be honest with you, it hasn't used Protect in a while and probably thinking, oh, I can stall out here. Let's go with the Encore. This might cost me the battle. It might cost me the battle, but we're going to see what happens. No, no, rookie mistake. No, I'm faster. 
No! I should have gone population bomb then on call the brief the following turn! No! GG screwed it up at the very end. Oh, that is infuriating. So close. I should have won that one. I'm going to kick myself now because I should have. I should have won that one. Screwed myself over. This is battle number three. Well, <laughs> it's pretty obvious which four Pokemon you're bringing along. Um, <laughs> what? Right, we, we get it. <laughs> we're going to, knowing that this is the team that you're going to use. Um... Oh, this, this mouse hold actually doesn't help me in this battle because there's the potential. It helps with three of the four mons. Oh, no, what moves have I got? You know what? I'm doing, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. You and you. I think that's the team, right? That's the team. You... Although you you really do help actually. Um Do I actually you know what? Withdraw. Second, first. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. The the mouse hold, unfortunately, it only has one attacking move and it's a, it's it's normal. And there's there's it's not very effective against one of the mons. It's ineffective against another mon that's the best profile picture ever except for mine um and then the the other two mons if they have some kind of terror typing could potentially mean that it's it's useless against three mons so i don't want to risk that here we go right this is the perfect start because i can tailwind and then i can go for heat wave surely heat wave is what i go for here we set up the speed although that rev of room they are both fast Pokemon. Like, now I'm now I'm doubting myself. Is this trainer that good and has such a good team that they only need four months? He's like, yeah, I'm going to win. Regardless, I'm going to win. Like, I'm coming into this battle. I've got my amazing four months. I'm guaranteed to win. And therefore, I don't need... I don't need... I don't even need to play mind games. I can just sweep. There we go. There's the heat wave. Oh, it survives. Why do you survive? There's the Volt Switch. Which actually doesn't one-shot my Pokemon. But I have got the Eevee Alight, which boosts the special defense and defense of any mons that can evolve. Hence why the Murkrow is better than the Hodgecrow. Hey, Spirit Tomb. Under pressure. Oh, I'm going to get a copyright strike. Um, well, that's a knockout, but I'm actually okay with that. That, is, that suits me fine. I wanted that. So... Who do I bring in here? I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like I do... This. Okay. So, knowing that my team is probably quicker... Mm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for the flower, tr flower trick for the super effective... No, not super effective. The critical hit and the heat wave again on both of them. I think as long as there's no hacks here in terms of protect, I can clear his field completely is what I'm hoping. But let's find out. Let's see if the terrestrialization happens here, which it might. It's just a really weird strategy. I don't think this person has a strategy. I just think I've ended up battling somebody who, unfortunately, or fortunately for me, <laughs> it is quite rubbish. I hope. <laughs> I don't want to lose. I'm still gutted that I'm not going to get a perfect streak tonight because of losing that previous fight, which was my fault. Like, I should have gone for the Protect, and then I should have gone for the Encore, then I should have gone for the Population Bomb. And I absolutely screwed myself there, unfortunately. So there we go. So we managed to clear their field. Now, they have two Pokemon left. They have the Electrode and the... What's the sexy fish Pokemon? I can never remember its name. And I'm not using that ironically. It is the sexiest fish Pokemon ever. Don't do you David at me on it. David, look at it. Like it looks majestic. It's beautiful. Um look at his lips. Anyway, right. Okay, so we're gonna go for the flower trick on you. We're gonna go for the heat wave because I can't do anything else, but that's okay. I, I'm feeling confident that I don't actually need to swap. I think the uh, Meowskorada will one-shot the Bruxish, and then uh, the Heat Wave will be soloed onto the Electrode, 
I know I'm down in special attack by quite a lot, but I think I should still be able to win this. Barring any last minute mishaps, which let's find out. The Electrode. What typing are you? Normal. Um. What what is their strategy here? Like, seriously, what is their strategy? Okay, that finishes you off. It's now a three on one. Um, and I've still got the armor rouge in the back, so absolutely fine. There's the heat wave. It's done dusted. Easy battle. Uh, let's just move on to the next one. The final battle of the night. Can we round out this video with an 80% win streak? We are sitting pretty at 75% win streak. It should be 100. I was still kicking myself. Now, look at their team. I think the Pelipper. The Pelipper and the um, Palafin are the mons to start here. Um, I kind of feel like... The Mons to go with here. Hydreigon. You and you. I think that is my best strategy here. I don't think bringing you actually helps that much. But believe it or not. Um, I think that's the strategy I go for. Tailwind and then just go on the offensive with the Hydreigon. Potentially swapping out if need be. Um, although, do I... Do I... Um... Tailwind. I'm debating between these two. The Hydreigon does give me more options. However, um, you just go on the offensive. But I'm, I'm scared of that Ghost Mon, the, the, the Gimme Ghoul evolution, because it's Ghost Steel, I believe. Um, which means you aren't great against it. But that's that's fine. Let, let's start with this team. Let's do this. We had eight seconds left. I'm coining it close, and I don't like it. I don't... This is... One of the reasons I'm doing this is to try and get over my nervousness around doing cage locks. For those who don't know, I do cage locks. Um, this, there's one that finished recently, Scarlet and Violet. Great series. No spoilers about who won, but I, I knew it. I knew you were starting. Right, this is it. Right, this is rain. This is a rain dance team, okay? Oh, drizzle. There we go. There's the drizzle. Okay, so tailwind. I kind of feel like I go for the Draco meteor on the Palipper, because the the Palafin's gonna swap out, right? Thinking about what other mons they had. Actually, you know what? I think I'd go for the Dark Pulse. I'm expecting the, the swap into the, the um, Goldendo? Is it Gold Goldendo? Wh whatever it's called. So let, let's, let's potentially predict the swap here. Whoa! No messing around. Okay, so what? Who are you? Wow! Okay, what? Terrestrializing straight off the bat. Are you like. Okay, so there's not a straight straight swap here. There's a flip turn coming. Jet punch. Wait, you haven't even powered up? Why would you not power up? Okay, we managed to get the tailwind up. You were trying to prevent the tailwind. That's why they stayed in, okay? They were they were hoping to knock it out. Oh, tailwind on your turn. Nice. Now, could I potentially swap here? Expecting the water type move. Unfortunately, I can't. Um, I can't risk swapping out here. What I could potentially do... Um, just in case I'm quicker, I'm going to go... Let's do that. Uh, the Palafin's the, the danger here. So, okay, there's the swap. So who are you swapping into? Now Skorada. That's, fant that's a fantastic swap. Neither of my mons are going to do a lot of damage here. I mean, more than I expected. And we managed to get the foul play off. Wow! Okay. That is, that is good. That is good. That's fine. So. That I'm really happy with, actually. Um, the question becomes... Who, who do I go into? I can, I, um, oh no, how long have I got? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't tell you. Uh, so I've got to make a quick... A quick. T okay, there we go. There's there's the... There's the t what am I going for here? Um, okay, swap in here. So, um, now, I'm expecting... I'm actually expecting a, either a water type move 
or a dark type move. So the great thing here is is to, by terrestrializing into a grass type, I'm immune. Well, not immune. I, I take redu reduced damage from both arms. So that is the, that's the correct play here. Um, and I actually think, yeah, so you, you go down to that. Um, dark pulse against the pelipit. Or do I swap here? No, I stay in. I stay in. I stay in. Okay. Am I expecting... Am I expecting... The double up into the armor rouge... With a water type move and a dark type move. That would be the correct play. That would be the correct play. Okay. Knocked off the live orb. We go for the dark pulse. Is that enough? It's not enough. It's not enough. So the hydro pump connects. But it's not enough to knock it out. Fantastic. Which means we can take down this mob. Brilliant. Okay. So it's... uh Okay. So, their mons are on their last legs, which means I just need to connect. The Tailwind, I think, peters out this turn. Okay. Right. Zero to hero. I have to go... Uh... Ooh. Ooh. Or do I protect the... I, I think I'm predicting the protect here. Like, surely you try to knock out that Pokemon. Because it's it's on its last legs. You go for the Jet Punch, maybe? Okay, you don't. Okay, that's fine. This is, this is great. Okay, this is best case scenario. I really do not see how they managed to bring this back from here. Um, There's the Hurricane. And we... we predicted them trying to take down that mon so this is fantastic um i i don't think this this pelipper has any oh yeah the gold bender i forgot wait what how did i forget about this mon uh could, should i swap do i swap here because oh no dot dot pull uh, okay there you go there you go there you go Let's just get, let's just, there's the Dazzling Gleam. Oh, barely hang on. Is it enough? Is it enough, though? If the Pelipit outspeeds, it's down to a two-on-one. No, it doesn't. It doesn't outspeed. Is that enough? It's enough. That's all we needed. Right, okay. Fantastic. I can't believe I forgot. that I, I miscounted the Pokemon. The Tailwind, unfortunately, like... The right, I think that was the right play to set up the Tailwind, hoping that the Goldendo was still alive. Um, just unlucky that I was locked into Dark Pulse, but that's why I started with this Mon. Um, oh, okay, right. So now we can just go for the Population Bomb, and we can go for the Dark Pulse. I have aimed for the wrong Mon, but I think it automatically defaults over, which is fine. Now, I, I, I don't see how we lose here. I just don't. Do I mean, no. Done. Dusty, we win. We have won the fifth and final battle today, which means we've won four out of the five with this team. I will be back um, later on this week with another rental team. If you haven't already, you leave a like down below. If there's a rental team you'd like me to use, leave it in the comment section down below. And seriously, if you want to help to grow the channel, which I really appreciate it, go and watch another one of my videos. Keep watching my content, feed the algorithm. And I'd really appreciate it. So, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then click one of the on-screen links to watch another one. Until next time, remember to flex your geek. See ya!